This is cool. I've always had the Blum Mini Press. In fact, I had two of them in my shop so I could do these holes seven at a time and just really productive. But since I got rid of that and I'm all portable, I needed to come up with a way to make the 32 millimeter system holes perfectly, just as good as, as in a shop or CNC. And so I looked around at the different options on the market. In fact, I already had a couple they were okay for like drilling one hole at a time with a drill, but I didn't like it. It was too slow. And so this Festool system with that locking, it's giving me the, the accuracy that I need. But man, it, it slow to use with these, they give you these little, you know, uh, offsets that you put on and, and you dial them in, you get it set, and then you clamp the thing. Then you take these off. And man, just, just non-productive, too slow. So I yesterday I came out to the shop and I said, it just has to be a better way. And I made up these plywood uh, brackets and I set them up so that I give me that perfect offset. Because you know that in the 32 millimeter system, the front row of holes are always, 100% of the time, 37 millimeters off the front. So I got that dialed in and then the back holes, they're different. They don't come off the back. They're measured as a multiple of 32 off of the front holes. So I got that set up uh, with these, with a second row. So I can, that's the only two offsets that I ever need. So I've got those set up. And so now I can just bolt these down and I don't have to clamp it. I can just go. And I did use these uh, TSO clamps to keep the whole setup from moving, but because the these plywood, this plywood jig that I made up is much bigger than the little, you know, with the Festool system, they, they got this little thing and yeah, it centers it, but it doesn't do the offset, kind of, I don't know. So anyway, I got them dialed in and this is my first pass at them and they are working great. And uh, so pretty excited about that. Um, oh, the uh, I was online looking for something and I noticed that TSO right now has their um, uh, Leprechaun, uh, St. Patrick's Day, that's it, um, sale going on. It, it's already going on and it goes on till Sunday. So it's everything in the store, um, including their micro jig stuff. And the Smart Woodshop fam knows that I am a big, big fan of TSO. If I'm working in the shop, I got TSO everywhere. So the other thing is um, the discount also includes shipping if you spend like $50 or more. So uh, don't. I'll, I'll put a link, an affiliate link down below. So if you use that, then TSO will share a little bit with us. Obviously, that helps support these videos. Again, till Sunday at midnight. So grab that if you get a chance, if you need anything from TSO. But on these, uh, this little jig that I made up for the LR32, um, if you want to know more about it, if you'd like me to do a longer dedicated video to demonstrate how this works, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I, I really like their system. Of, of accurately placing these holes. I just didn't like having to set up, cut, you know, every, now I can just drop it on and it's ready to go. And of course it's adjustable this way, just as the Festool stuff is, um, depending on the, the, your, the, your sides, whether they're the base or the uppers. This is just a sample piece, but um, it's exactly uh, base sides are always exactly the same uh, length or height. There, there's no variation. It doesn't matter if it's doors, drawers, narrow, wide. They're all exactly the same. So setting this up and just being able to have a stack of them and flop this on and go, go, go. It's, it's not going to be like a, a Blum mini press, but for something like this that's reasonably affordable, it gives you the accuracy 
we could speed it up, I think it'd be perfect. So anyway, if you want to find out more about it, let me know down below. Mahalo for hanging out with me in the Smart Wood Shop.